you know the violence in that scene. You're gonna burn you and your family. Yeah. What do you say? You know the violence in that scene. You're gonna burn you and your family. Yeah. How could you not love the man who created you? Heaven and earth and all that the world is. Greetings. We're about to enter a new uh, series of different segments. A new series of different segments, you know, from the last uh, series of who is Yehoshua, who is Jesus Christ the Messiah. Now we're going to touch base kind of where we left off with the last series on the original Hebrew Israelites from the Torah or Torah to the New Covenant that is from, from the original Torah to the New Covenant in Yehoshua HaMashiach or Jesus Christ that is the original Hebrew Israelite or original Messianic Hebrews and the original Messianic uh, Yehudaites of that time converting the first early Christians in that time period from the rise of uh, the, the original messianic faith. So in the last series we left off with the book of Acts. Um, like I just said from the uh, first converts into the new covenant with the original messianic faith. Then we go into the disciples of the, uh, the messianic apostles, uh, Kepha, Peter, Translated as Peter and uh, Johannes as John. We're going up to the temple at the hour of prayer at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. A man lame from birth was being carried in. People would lay him daily at the gates of the temple called the beautiful gate. So that he could ask for alms and those entering the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for alms. Peter looked intently at him, as did John had said. Look at us, and he fixed his attention on them. But Peter said, I have no silver or gold, but what I have I give to you in the name of Jesus Christ, or in the name of Yehoshua HaMashiach of Nazareth. Stand up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. Jumping up, he stood and began to walk, and he entered the temple with them walking and leaping and praising God all the people saw him walking and praising Jah and they recognized him as the one who used to sit and ask for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him some people think that uh, that's not possible in these last of last days in these present times of the 20th century 21st century, 2009, 2010, 2012, and so forth. But uh, there are people today, just like the original messianic disciples, and even like Christ himself, that perform such miracles as raising the dead and healing the sick. We, through genuine faith, have the ability to lay hands upon the sick, upon the injured, and heal in the divine name of Yeshua, Jesus. We're going back to the first converts in uh, chapter 2 of the book of Acts. Uh, we focus on verse 41. So those who welcomed his message were baptized. And that day about 3,000 persons were added. There you have it. The baptism. Fast forward to Acts chapter 10, verses 44 through 48. The Gentiles received the Holy Spirit. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. 
the circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues and extolled Yahweh. Then Peter said, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit, just as we have? So we ordered them to be baptized in the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. There you go. So you have this uh, spiritual baptism by the Holy Spirit and fire of Yahweh. Of course, you have a lot of other modern baptisms of today and universal uh, Christian church bodies all around in these uh, modern times being baptized in the name of uh, Yeshua or Jesus Christ. Often, uh, Known as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I baptize you as my sister in Christ, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And here you have uh, the actual spot and location of the Jordan River in Israel, the historical location of uh, Yeshua Jesus himself being baptized by John the Baptist. <laughs> and many of the first uh, converts being baptized in the Jordan River. But uh, the whole symbolism of uh, this ritual baptism is actually symbolic to the true spiritual baptism we, we receive through confessing Yeshua Jesus as, as, as the Lord and Savior of our lives, as the Mashiach and Son of God, and our advocate you know, to the Father, Yahweh. <laughs> 